Hello, this is Joseph Alpert again, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here to call your attention to a very interesting article in this month's American Journal of Medicine. Um, it's uh, Beauchamp et al., and it comes from a, a terrific uh, academic center in Canada at McMaster. Um, they followed up a lot of patients who had serious COVID during the first wave. Uh, uh, you all remember the very nasty wave where we had lots of death and, and morbidity. And they followed these folks up looking for pulmonary dysfunction and muscle dysfunction um, and cognitive dysfunction and found a substantial portion still one year later had disability. Um, you, you may remember when the au first autopsy studies were shown, there were lots of little micro clots in the microcirculation in these folks. And, it, and I'll bet that that's a, a, a possible mechanism for, for this long-term disability. Um, but it's, uh, it's really awful that there's still a lot of people who are left uh, possibly even with permanent disability uh, following the long-term COVID. Well, uh, thanks very much for reading the American Journal of Medicine and for following us on all of our social media. And I look forward to talking with you next month.